Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Welcome back to a Let's Play of RimWorld. Bionic Superhuman. I, I was Bionic Superhumans, but I think I have to start calling it Bionic Superhuman because we only have one left. Mellow. So Mellow is hanging out back here in Bionia. He's going to rest a bit. We already constructed a second watermill generator. I'm very happy with that. I think we're going to wait until we actually get a research lab here, which we will need Mellow to build the high-tech research bench. And I believe we can afford the power consumption now that we have another watermill generator. It's possible we could build an, yet another watermill generator before we go. But Mellow's gonna, gonna want, going to want to get out of here fast to get an item stash request and to alleviate the wealth burden of our colony here. And it looks like we also just got a bandit camp request. Um, oh, we would get 21 luciferium if we did this. Um, and that's it. Three enemies. I mean, we'll do it. We'll do it anyway. 20 days left for that. 14 days for that. So we'll go to the item stash, and then we'll just go to that outpost. I don't know if we would end up taking the Luciferium. Maybe we would uh, give Contreras the Luciferium or something. It would be interesting to have a Bionic Superhuman that was also a Luciferium addict. Um, and maybe Mello's quest would be to just maintain his Luciferium addiction. That would be interesting. Like, maybe that's why Mello is going around terrorizing the world, is just to get more and more Luciferium. We'll see. Um, we may do that. It's just, we'll see if we get that Luciferium. That Luciferium would last, let's see, 21 times 5. So, like, 100, I don't know, a long time. 100, uh, over 100 days. Over 100 days. Um, so, almost... 100 days. So over a year. 30, well over a year. Almost two years. That might last like two years if we do it right. If my math is right, which it might not be. Um, it's hard to think of math, math on the spot when you're recording, but I think so. In any case, uh, Mellow's resting. Almost fully rested. You're going to wake up, get some food. Savoie is doing his thing. We might also take the Psychic Shock Lance with us. That's probably a good idea. Oh, yeah, I think we dropped it off here. Um, we have something else, right? An oh, this guy. Yeah, the animal. Yeah. So we'll definitely bring those things with us. We should probably deconstruct this at this point. I don't think it actually does anything. Well, no, we can put ourselves in it. You just you can't put someone else in it. All right, we're fine. We'll leave it. We'll leave it. It's quite a nice dormitory here, I think. It's very impressive. It's rich, spacious. Beauty is okay. Clean. Yeah, we're doing an okay job, all things considered, I think. Um, all right, Mellow is up. Mellow's the one we care about, mostly. Drinking a beer, fair. You just came back from a hard, strenuous journey. So I don't blame you for that. You don't super need it. Did we assign you to beer? Um, we did. There we go. No more of that. You're not going to have that anymore. That You'll drink this beer because you deserve it. But after this, we're just going to do that one thing at a time here. All right. I'm glad you're doing this during the day while no one's sleeping in this room. Great. Um, I'd love for you to finish that door, though. Oh, you need wood. We don't have wood. Um, do we not have... Definitely need wood here. Okay. And I think Contreras can chop that wood, if I'm not mistaken. Um, are you almost done mining that? You know what? Just, just chop the tree. Just chop some trees. And chop these. Great. We don't need that steel right now. Uh, okay, thanks, Mello. And Mello's already working on this high-tech research bench. That's great. Fantastic. Speed things up a bit. And Savoie's cooking and doing really all the things. Cleaning, hauling, everything. Yeah. It would be nice to redo this floor at some point. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it right now. We have other things that are important. Uh, okay. Okay. High-tech research bench. It, uh, ooh. Oh, needs 250 power, which is really not bad at all. Okay. Cool. 
Uh, and we have power lines. We're building power lines, right? No, we do need power line over to this this guy, and that's fine, I think. Um, yeah, do that. Alrighty. Uh, so now we have a better place to research. So we can probably get rid of this. Yes. And that's a normal chair. You know what? Um, cancel that chair. Just move this one. That'll be fine. Okay. And we're building this all out of wood, and we don't have a ton of wood right now. That is a bit of a blocker. Contrast, when you're done that, cut the rest of this. Really, cutting should be one of your main things. And it is. But after mining, I guess, fine. Oh, you did finish mining here. We don't have any more mining going on. We've compacted our machinery right here. That's nice. We do have plenty of components. Ah! We have five components. I guess we will want to mine that sooner than later. Okay. But we want to finish this room. And the doors. Can you work on the door? Fine. I just don't want this to be... All right, there we go. Thank you, Mello. That's what I wanted. Okay. Nice. And we'll get a little more. Mello's harvesting too. That won't take him very long. So it won't, it won't be long before we send Mello out. With a bunch of meals, some herbal meds. And we have a decent amount of herbal meds right now. Um, are we growing any cotton? No. I think... I think we might want to start... Well, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna have to research drug... Medicine production, right? If we want to be able to make medicine. We don't have that, I believe. No. There's drug production. There's medicine production. Uh, right now, we're researching flak armor. Okay. We might want to consider drug production so we can get to medicine production after that. Because that will be important. Uh, at least it will, it'll, it'll be important for Mello to be able to walk around with some regular medicine instead of herbal meds, I think. Oh, we have some components over here. Savoy, could you haul these, please? Thank you. All right. All right, you know what? Mello's not doing anything anymore. I don't think we need Mello to stick around for the research or anything. I think I'm okay sending you away already. So, let's do that. Um, I don't think you guys really need anything else right now. And if you do, well, tough. We're going to get out of here. Um, world screen. Let's form a caravan. Mellow. And uh, it would be fun to send Mellow out with Dorkling 2. But I think Dorkling 2 isn't fully trained, so we're not going to do that yet. Maybe later. Uh, we're going to send you out with a few meals. Rotten 2.6 days. Wait, what? 28 days of food? How can that be? How is that? How is one simple meal 12.8 days of food? Oh, I just had a realization about how Arcotech stomachs work, or bionic stomachs. Is that right? Or is it because everything is Arcotech that you don't need food? I think Mello needs very little food. Interesting. Um, where would I see that? Nutrition needed or something? Diet? Well, no. Um, eating speed is good. Forage food is good, but we need, like, the amount of food you need. Because that seems special. Definitely seems like you need less food. Rest rate multiplier. Learning factor. Oh, your move speed is so good. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see anything like that. I don't see... Meat, um, oh, that's how many meat, how much meat 
you have on you, like if we butchered you, um, which is not a whole lot, probably because you're mostly metal at this point. Am I missing it? I don't see it. It definitely seems that way though, right? Okay, let's try this again. Like if we did Contreras and said one simple meal, that would be 1.1 days of food. Savoir, 1.5. Mello, 12.8. So we definitely only need to bring one of those. There's no point in bringing more. And then we bring pemmican. Look, just like one piece of pemmican is like half a day of food. Two pemmican feeds you for a whole day. Um, that's so many days of food. 150 pemmican? You could be out forever. All right, I'll, bring, I'll send you out with that. Um, and we'll send you out with meds. Um, these are... I'll send you out with the nice ones. All of them? Okay. Maybe more than that, too. 10, maybe 20 total. Okay. Um, ambrosia, you know, sure. Take some ambrosia with you, just because. Uh, anything else? Yes, these two things you need. We could send you with some building material just for a quick sh uh, sandbag. Might be worthwhile to send you with some steel. Don't know. It does lower your tiles per day. You know what? You don't need any. Um, you have your gun. I think that's it. Oh, and of course, your um, sleeping bag. Where's your sleeping bag, buddy? There it is. And that's it. That should be it. You're going to go far with this. It's got... Is it the bionic stomach that does that? All right. And we're going to choose the root. And first, we're going to go to this one. 1.75 days. Great. Go. Excellent. I love it. Very little downtime for Mello. Go get your stuff, and you move so fast, and you need so little food. I love it. I love it. Okay. Um... So now this colony is still gonna is gonna have you know not a lot going on. Um, we might do a little bit of construction. Have uh, have Savoie do some construction to maybe work on the workshop on whatever free time he has. But other than that, he's still gonna just gonna be like growing, cooking, just kind of tending to the farm, cleaning. And Contreras is gonna be. Harvesting, I guess. Cutting, doing plant cutting. Um, but we might as well, right? We might as well. Where is a tool cabinet? And I'm just putting this in as a placeholder. There. That's as far as it can go away. I'll put them in on the side here like that. And we'll put one here too. But we're not going to build them yet. Okay. They're just placeholders so we know how far away everything is going to be. Okay. Uh, in our other room rule game, we have them horizontal instead of vertical. So I kind of wanted to do that. So this is um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh. That is mud, isn't it? Or um, we would need like a pump there. So this will be a... Oh. Okay. This does change things. At some point, we might try draining this. In the meantime, this will be fine. One, two, three, four. Really? How does that work? One, two, three, four. So just like this? That seems weird, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did I do this wrong? Hmm. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I guess that's okay, I guess. 
whatever. It's fine for now. This will be our workshop, and they'll work. They'll they'll get they'll they'll get to work on it. Um, I guess it's like a radius, right? So maybe this wall should go out further. Probably like this. Um, one, two, three, four. Cool. Like this. Maybe. I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> this does not look great. I don't know what I'm doing. But that kind of made... I don't know. You know what? It's weird. I'm going to keep it for now. We can always rebuild. Right here. Oh, this can be further... Right. No, I guess that makes... Makes sense. Like that. Huh. I don't know what I'm doing. You know what? We can just put some... Um... I know what to do. We're going to say build copy. And how far can this... Oh, we would have to build the cabinets first to do that. Um, they only take steel. We can make them. You know what? Make one. No, not copy. Just build one. And don't build these walls yet. We can build these walls, because that's as far as we can go for now. Okay. I know it's a little ridiculous, but I, I like maximizing the space that we have. Okay. Um, all right. Mello, are, you're gone. You're, you're go, you're most of this, your highway. All right. I'm going to just speed this up. Plus, you can forage really well, so you really don't even need to bring food, do you? You have so much food. And you really, I mean, you don't have so much food. You have, you have very little food, but it, it just lasts, it goes so, so far with you. I would love to move those blocks. Okay. So uh, I feel better with Melo not being in Bionia, just because it means we won't get a ridiculous raid all of a sudden. Um... But at the same time, there, if we are raided, there's not a mu not much we can do. Let's mine, uh, start mining some more compact machinery. We have a manhunter pack here. Oh, but it's chickens. And there are only four of them. So. Now, yeah, you can both fight, technically. Um, hold that open for now. Great. And now both of you come out here. Good. So this is held open, and uh, we can run back inside if we have to. Savoie is going to be the one doing most of the shooting here, I think. All right, here come the chickens. All right, you got this, Savoie. You're a decent shot, right? No, you're not. You're a terrible shot. Um, seems like the kind of thing that melee fighting might be better. Fight these close ones. Okay, good job. Nice. Kill that one. Nice. For two people terrible at fighting. Oh, running away. Awesome! They didn't even they didn't peck at us at all. Good job, everybody. Oh yeah, you don't haul. Uh, now we can not hold it open anymore. Okay, awesome. See, that was so easy. Like the events they give us when we just have two colonists and not a whole lot else. Um not bad. Not too terrible. Alright, Mela, hurry up. Get up there. We want some action. This Let's Play is more about action than our usual RimWorld games. 
Less about, less about just like waiting around and seeing what happens. Um, yes, we knew we would strike compacted machinery. Thank you. Look at all these eggs. Beautiful. Ruined by temperature. Oh, they're fertilized. That's why. Ruined by temperature. Yeah, whatever. Um, some butchery now. Yeah, that's nice. We'll get some meat. We do need to make, like, a bigger freezer and a real kitchen area. It'd be nice to get some auto doors, too. But research, we just can't really research. So it is kind of annoying. Might as well mine all this out while we're here. All right, world map. Uh, 1.1 days. Um, so I was butchering. All right, everyone hurry up. Yeah, not a lot else going on. It's fine to butcher at the butcher spot, even though it takes longer. Um, okay. Yeah, I guess as long as you use that meat to cook with. Are you? Maybe when we need food? I just don't want to spoil. Maybe I should say don't put meat in the stockpile? Oh, I'm saying just meat. Uh, interesting. Very interesting. Why would I do that? Just because meat, meat is on the menu first? Is that right? I mean, no. I'll leave it for... We don't have the meals to go around. You know what? No. The stockpile, no meat. I'll allow some vegetarian stuff. Anything? Any? Yeah. That'll be fine. So hopefully they'll move the meat to the freezer. Um, Savoie is playing chess. And when you're done, haul that chicken meat. All right. Mellow. You're getting closer. Thank you. Frozen. An eclipse. Um, it's not going to affect us too badly. It'll affect some of the growing here. I don't think anything will grow in the meantime, but we have food in our stores. No food over here. Oh, you need electricity, huh? Power. Do I build? Sure, why not? Actually, maybe you shouldn't go through that. I don't do that. Okay. Actually, hold on. I'm changing my mind about all this. Cancel that. Power conduit. Have it come over like perfect look at that no turns needed all right all right and once we have this we'll maybe make a little art station for Contreras although she's not idling at all which is good I do want to move these components in um cargo pods okay with 20 smoke leaf joints lovely uh, Savoie. Haul these in, please. Stop cleaning dirt over there. How is it getting dirty over here anyway? I guess the door's open. Stuff over here should be pristine. Uh, we have no one on research unless there's nothing else to do. But then you will research. In theory, Contreras will research. And in fact, Contreras is researching right now. Okay. Well, that's good. And it's going to go up really slowly for you. But that's okay. It's research. We actually have some research getting done here. Uh... Yeah, we'll move these fertilized eggs. Whoops. I think. Okie doke. Uh, Mello, you almost there? Yes, you are almost there. Here we go. Oh, this is going to be fun. Get in there. 
Here we go. Pause. Caravan arrived at item stash. Enemy outpost. Ooh. So interesting. We can see someone that we can't see here. Zandi the mercenary. Very good at shooting in melee. But is sickly. Interesting. Great memory. Tough. You're going to be... Yeah, you're, you'd are you be a great colonist. I mean, you can't do a lot of stuff. But you can haul. So... Um, we might take you back as prisoner. Uh, if we can kill you. There's supposed to be two people here. We can't actually see them anymore. Uh, I don't... I could use the psychic animal pulser, but I think we're gonna you wait until we're fighting, like, a big colony. Uh, with a lot of people. With just two folks here, I'm not too worried. Come down here. Oh. All right, get over here. Are they gonna... Is he gonna come at us? Oh, you have a steel knife? Oh. I didn't realize that. We're gonna kite you. We're gonna kite you like nobody's business. You can't even hide behind your sandbags. Come here, Zandy. Oh, and what about you, chimp? You also have a melee weapon. You are good at it. Um, you're a, also a great colonist. But none of you are as fast as Mello. I'm gonna shoot at that door. All right, now they're attacking. Uh, that wall will take a long time to shoot. All right. Stop that, Mello. Hit Chimp. Kill Chimp. Nice. All right, one more shot and then we run. Oh, nice. All right, run away. Um, keep running. Oh, maybe I should be running down. Yeah, actually, run down. Run over here. And fire. Two melee folks. Easy. Um, you know what? Let's play it safe. Run over here. I'm trying to, I'm trying to give you a good line here. To run. Um, Alright, keep running up. Zandi is fast. Not as fast as we are, of course. But fast. How fast are you? Uh, yeah, not, not too bad. Okay, now we're good. Come on, Mello. Oh, come on. Uh, Alright, keep running. I don't want to take any chances here. Mello is just going to keep running. Your mood could be better because you have no recreation. We'll get you some recreation. Is shooting not recreational for you? No, it's not, is it? Only medical and intellectual. Um, Nice. Okay. And you're fleeing. Let's chase you. Oh. Um, fire. Ah, okay. Oh, well. Uh, we did it. Melee attack the door. Great. So, you had some fine meals. Um, you know what? First pick those up. I'm not going to pick up that awful steel knife. It would be nice to get some better clothes, and I should have done that um, at the tribal place. Although they all had tribal wear, so never mind. Oh no. Contreras' is sleeping sickness? That's pretty annoying. Um, do we have Doctor on for Savoie? Yeah. Oh, whatever, just turn it on, Max. We have herbal meds for you. It's just an Contreras already barely does anything. It's super annoying. All right, we're making some progress on the door here. Does this increase our melee skill when we do this? I think we already checked that. I don't think it does. No. Our shooting's decent, though. We have no passion for it, but it's decent. Oh, it's a lot of beds. Um, oh, yeah, I don't need to do this. 
I forgot. Sorry, everybody. I know we did this already. Claimed! All right, just go in there. Unless you're... Major break risk. Um, yeah, you need recreation. Just open this up. Ooh! Here we go. This is the loot. The loot we wanted. So... Nice. Install it. And then you can use it for recreation, right? Um, install it in here where there's light? Uh, that was interesting. Consuming pemmican. Why are you consuming pemmican? Oh, whatever. All right, you'll eat. I don't know why you dropped that ambrosia. Yes, good. Excellent. I'll hold this open. Hold all these things open. All right, we have a bit of time. This did not take... We have three whole days because that did not take long at all. And now you're playing the game. It's too bad it's not daytime because we would have some light here. I will... Um, reconnect. Oh, uh, say turn that off. And turn this off and just leave that one. But we don't have any power right now. Cool. So your recreation should be going up. And it is. This is the first time I've seen this game. Silver. Oh, well, I actually saw it in a game of civilians. But this is nice. It's excellent quality. It's made of silver, so it should be worth a ton. Oh, 555. Okay. Cerebral, cerebral play. Okay. Looks great. And it's excellent condition. I wonder if we should have Mello, like, carry around something like this or like a horseshoe pin or something for recreation i guess you have you have ambrosia with you which you could have used although you have a high to i forgot you already have a high tolerance for that when you have heat stroke oh well we there is a passive cooler in here but it's probably not doing a lot because i destroyed the doors whoops whoops um it would be nice for you to sleep and not yeah okay Are you, how's your recreation? I don't want you to get heat stroke. Right, your friend still died. That is expiring relatively soon. Your recreation is decent. For the time being, I am going to start deconstructing these and I'm gonna rebuild a cheap, dirty door. Keep going. Oh yeah, you can toggle that switch, that's fine. Um, how much is a door, a steel door? 25. Um, so four times five was 20. Um, and then that should do it. And that'll give you enough steel. We have all these beds. I don't think it's going to be worth bringing any back. I mean, they're all really, they would be heavy. I don't see anything better than good. But we will, um, set a, one of the good ones for you specifically. All right, and now uh, just work on that door, please, so things cool down in there. So that when you sleep, you don't go nuts. An Aurora! And the Aurora is here, and that'll make you... So that should actually light things up. I think it's supposed to make things brighter, and that should give you a, a bit of a boost. Beautiful Aurora, that's nice. That is useful. This door's supposed to... Okay, there it closed. So now it should be getting cooler indoors here because there is a passive cooler, although it is a big room. Oh, there's a passive cooler in here too. Maybe I should have brought everything in there, but you really don't need to repair that. It increases your construction, so whatever. But you really don't need to. <laughs> okay. Um... So I guess I don't care about that ambrosia too much. Maybe you should bring beer or something like that. All right, what are you doing now? Repair. Stop repairing walls. There shouldn't be much to repair. And then... What are you going to do? Cleaning. You don't need to do that. Can you... I can't tell you to play. Is there anything else we want to do here? 
Or do we just want to leave? Um, we should probably sleep here before we leave. Is there anything that we would want to do here? I will, I of course, will need to re-uninstall this before, uh, before we go and take it with us. I think we'll try to take this plasteel table as well if we can carry it. How much does it weigh? Five pounds? Yeah, we can carry it. We can carry that back with us. That's nice. That'll be nice for the colony, and we'll take the bionic eye with us. Maybe Mela will install that. We'll definitely install that, I think, in Savoie's face. Because, <laughs> yeah. Because um, Contreras isn't worth it. And that'll be nice. All right, so thanks for watching, everybody. I really enjoyed playing with you today. Next episode, hopefully, we'll, we will get to attack the bandit camp that's over here. And that'll also be exciting. I really enjoyed playing with you today, and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.